download my plugin. So I'm gonna uninstall it for the sake of this video. So in the description, you're gonna have two links, the link to this developer page on the dev forum, and the link to my website with the mid plugin project. So if you scroll down on my website, you're gonna have the install link here. And on a dev page, you click here and you can download it from here. So once you do your stuff, you can press install and the plugin should install. Yep, it's installed. Then you can go to any base plate you want. Anyways, <laughs> open. The plugin doesn't show up here, but you know, you know it's there. So the plugin shows when you select a particle, it's here, you have two features emit which is the emit count and the delay delay before it emits i'll set this back to how it was the aussie emit plugin puts these attributes and i made it the same for the sake of simplicity clicking the reset button will move all the values and move them from here as well once you click emit your particle will get emitted this isn't like Aussie's emit plugin, so if you select attachments, it won't bug out and it will still run. And yeah, so that's normal particle emit. And then we've and particle emitters to create a nice effect for people that don't know how to script. So I select these and I put delay, which would be the time this part moves. So you have settings for every single mesh. This is the rotation that the mesh would rotate by, the size it might grow to, the C framing will be changing. This is the transparency, this is the time, and this is the time before reset. You can close this menu. And then I'm just gonna select these. This is a useful use of the plugin. And there we go. It can give life to your work, I guess. What in the world? What's this? Let's see. Oh. Well. Mm. Yeah, so this is an example of beams getting emitted. So beams have these values here. I'm just going to reset it for now. So emit stays empty because it doesn't matter for beams, delays, the time, similar to the particles. I have no idea how much this was. Okay, it was zero. And then you have width zero and width one, which are these two values here. I think it was set on 10 and five. So I'll just put it back 10 and five. Then duration is how long it will last. So I think it's 0 0.3. Okay, then you go to your beam, you set width 1 and width 0 to 0, and then you can select your particles and your beams, and emit. I think this is upside down. Oops. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. So, like... It just gives you the ability to bring stuff to life and use different stuff to your advantage. Then last but not least, we have the uh, mesh, mesh emits. So I'm just going to search for some meshes. Okay. And then if I want to use like a circle to make an effect, okay. Like this one here. Or actually, this one's pretty nice. We'll use this one. Just move it here, scoot it away, and zoom in. Okay, so this guy, so neon. I want it to start at zero so it doesn't show. I'll reset this. So, size, I want this to be 50, 150. Rotation, keep it 
so you can check here and rotate by the value you want and you can see your orientation here to, so you know how to input it there so if I want to rotate it here you can see that the middle value changes so I can put here 0 1000 0 I want the C frame to stay the same so I'll leave that empty I want this to become 1 and the duration how long the move lasts before it resets I'll have that one and the time it takes for this to happen at 0 0.3 so and then you click commit and it happens so pretty pretty cool you can do this mixed in with particles mixed in with beams with anything just to you know have fun if you think you want to support me, comment here, like it, store it, go here, click one of these, go here, click one of these. And zero provided the beam VFX. He wanted to make something like this, but he didn't know how, so I made it, and that's why he's here. Aussie, sorry.